Hello and welcome to the Body Guided 999. My name is Lynette and before I get started with today's message, I ask and give thanks to the universe for guidance, protection, and assistance with this reading. So before I started this reading off, I was closing my door right here and I realized that I had a, a, a little quick dream about something and it was about me closing the door, but like as I was closing the door, the door broke off and that goes with today's message because today's message is 34, 34 angel number. It's about change and transformation being on the horizon for you. And for me to have that little, what, maybe a one minute, two minute dream, you could be trying your best to stay where you are. Like you could be, it could be a struggle for you right now. We're keeping everything together and you're trying your best. And it seems like nothing is working out. And the reason why that is happening is because it's new opportunities that are trying to come in for you. And it's like you're trying to close the door on those opportunities. But no matter what you do, them opportunities are going to come through. That's why it seems like nothing is working out. Every time you try to do something, it's like, damn, that ain't working. Damn, this ain't working. It's because you're trying to, it's like you're going against the flow of what's supposed to come in for you. But yeah, so like I said, change and transformation are on the horizon for you. And your child or your children, your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, hell, everybody that's in your space. Change is on the horizon for you all. I feel like you may feel this way as well. You may feel like it's, it feel like something big is about to happen in your life, but you just don't know what that is. And the reason why you feel like that is because something big is on the horizon to happen into your life. It's just that you're trying to keep up with what you already have when it's time to close out that chapter in your life. So you can step into a different chapter in your life. And every time you try to close that door. So it's like. Hell this applied to me too. Because shit. Life really been life in. So I'm going to use me a, a, as an example. I do things the way that I used to do it. And. How I used to do it. It used to be just fine. Now it's a struggle for me to do do it the way that I used to do it. Now it's like, if I do this this way, like how I used to do it, then something ended up happening to where now it I got to find a different strategy. Example, I got into a damn car accident last night while I was working. And it's like, damn, what the fuck I'm going to do now? These are energies working against you because you're continuing on a path that is no longer for you. Like I said, that dream that I had, it's like closing, trying to close a door. Keep closing the door of opportunity because that's what that door is. Closing the door of opportunity because you're used to familiarity. You're used to where you're at. You're comfortable where you're at. And if you don't know where you're going, and if you don't have the plans on the next move, then you're not going to make it. And that's why things are feeling like it's crumbling. And it's, it's not necessarily crumbling. It's just that you are going through changes, or at least that's what's trying to happen to you. And that's why things are not working out. It's because changes need to happen so that you can go through a transformation and you will be at that peak. You feel like you may be delusional when it comes to you feeling like it's something so much bigger. And like it's something so much grand out there that you're supposed to be doing. But it's not that you're delusional. It's just that you're not going with the flow of the current. You keep trying to stop things. And, and you're thinking small minded as far as in comfortability of being where you are. So it's major at this time that 
you be quiet about certain things in your life, even if your life is life. It's made you that you be quiet about the changes that you're going through and about life adversities that's happening to you too. Because out of nowhere, it's going to be a spark like that, that sense of, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something or I feel like something is coming in. Out of nowhere, it's going to be a spark that actually comes in for you. And maybe you have a realization of which path you're really supposed to be headed down. What I said, starting it off with this 34, 34 angel number change and transformation are on the horizon. That's that spark where it's like, damn, you're constantly stuck in the same cycle of doing things the same way. And that's why it seems like nothing is working out. But once you get this spark, it has to do with changes that you're going to be going through. And these changes is going to cause you to go through a transformation because, of course, you have to change. When you're going through changes, I mean, well, you don't have to, you can do whatever you please, but that's going to lead you to the tip top of where you're supposed to be at. At least you will see a peak of what you're supposed to, what you're supposed to be doing and where you're supposed to be at. Check is at the top of this deck. So at this time, it's major that you check yourself. Because sometimes, like, we are so accustomed to society standards that we hold on to things and you don't want to let it go. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's major that you, you check yourself on that. And if you're needing assistance in certain areas, make sure that you ask for it. You could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius. But I feel like what's going to happen, hell, this might be a message for myself. Because I feel like what's going to happen is you're going to get some type of gains and stability. Well, these gains are going to lead to you having the stability that you're fighting so hard to maintain right now. You're going to have the stability that you're fighting so hard to maintain. And this could be, like I said, I got into a damn accident last night. This could be a, about getting a check and being quiet. You see how I'm being quiet. I'm not going into detail about what happened, how it happened, and none of that. But this is this is about you. You could be a water sign, shit like myself, a, a Scorpio, or Pisces, or Cancer. You have to hold on because there's this spark that's that's about to ignite within you. For real. And let me not do this because I, I, I'm damn near about to make this reading about me and shit. Because, listen, it, it, it's, it's someone 11-11. It's someone that can be jacking it down. About the circumstances that you're going through. So be quiet at this time. Know that you are in alignment with divine guidance and support from your angels. That's the spark. This spark is going to give you that manifestation, that creativity, that figuring out what you're supposed to be doing. And as I said in the beginning of this reading, right, how this change and transformation that's on the horizon for you is going to be affecting everyone around you. Let's we'll take care of your baby out here. It's going to be affecting everyone around you. Everyone. You could be impatient at this time. And you're impatient because you're not wanting to do things differently. As I said in the beginning of this reading. 
but know that you are 7979 on a major verge of spiritual transformation. What you've been trying to stop and what you've been trying to hold off and put to the side, the side piece out here, what you've been trying to put to the side, it's like, I feel like you know that you're supposed to be doing certain things. But because of life, you put it to the side. But you know that you should really be stepping foot into this spiritual transformation that is that is for you. You know this. Because that's where you're going to get your gains of stability from. And you're going to be able to have that stability and continue to gain even more from it. Because you're on the path that you're that you that you should be on. When it comes to things that have been a challenge for you now, it's time for that to come into completion. As I was saying before, it's like a door is trying to open, but you keep trying to close. It. You keep trying to close. Like you're you're trying to what is the word? You're trying to prevent. Something from happening that needs to happen. And as I always say, by you not making a choice, it's you making a choice. Because it's going to be made for you anyways if this is the direction that you're supposed to be headed in. So some examples is like, oh damn, I'm struggling to pay my bills. Right? And you always paying your bills late, but you pay them. Eventually, something ended up happening to where you can't even pay your damn bills. And it's like, damn, what the fuck? Why? And it's because it's trying to get your attention. Say it's a job that you're supposed to be quitting. That you know is not your sole purpose and your soul just won't even allow you to be at peace being at that job. But you still show up every day. Now it's getting hard for you to show up because you keep missing your alarm clock. You're oversleeping. That's because you're being pushed. You're being forced to go with the flow. Because you're not you're not closing out cycles and completing things that are no longer for you anymore. Because once you do that, once you go through this completion of certain areas in your life, you will be able to go through that transformation that has really been trying to get your attention. And there's so many angel numbers out here that you could have been seeing angel numbers. Trying to get your attention. You could have been through a spiritual awakening. With 999 out here. This is a chapter in your life. And this chapter is as I said. It's about new opportunities. This is about you finding new opportunities. And beginning these new opportunities. But you keep closing the door on it. And these new opportunities are major opportunities. But you're thinking small-minded and you feel like you're delusional. You're not delusional. You feel like something is about to happen. You just don't know what it is. And that's because something is about to happen. That's that spark that has ignited in you. So that you can get in alignment with the divine guidance. All these angel numbers that you have been seeing is... Your angels showing you support so that you can keep pushing on and you can keep going. Like as soon as you feel like you want to give up or as soon as you feel like, man, fuck that. I, that's when these angel numbers come in for support to show you that you are not alone. And not only angel numbers, anything else that grabs your attention. <laughs> Look at this. Unmotivated right here. When you're feeling unmotivated. You're impatient and, and you're impatient because you're so used to doing things the same way like the example I use for, for myself. Doing like used to doing things a certain way to where it doesn't work. And it's causing you to be impatient because you don't know how to do things any different. You're thinking small minded. You're thinking small minded in the sense of, well, this is all I know. If all you worked was a job for 
for 15, 16 years. That's all you know. You'll be scared to take that chance on yourself. And this is like the energy that I'm picking up on. And it's time for you to take time and be patient with yourself because you're impatient. Like you going through life adversities because life does be life in at times. You know what I'm saying? It's causing you to feel impatient because you feel like you have to be. I mean, we all, we all do have to be like this. I'd be lying if I sit here and, and act as if though I just always go with the flow. I don't. You know, especially when you don't have anyone backing you up. Like you are, you are the help. You are the person that carries on. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be lying if I say that I don't be coming up with a next strategy. If this don't work, if this don't work. But this is what is taking place right now. And it's trying to have you stop doing that. So you can go with the flow. So you can go with the flow of the current. And once you go with the flow of the current, current you will see exactly where you're supposed to be. What's been trying to come in for you. And I feel like you will be thankful and grateful that what didn't work out, what closed out, what had come to a completion, came to a completion. Once you get on that other side, though. Because you don't see it right now. But once you get on that other side, you will feel like, man, I'm glad that all those things didn't work out. And if you do not change your sense of direction when it comes to the way that you're doing things, when it comes to you being impatient, you're going to create health problems for yourself. And that's only going to be harming you. Like you are on the verge of a spiritual transformation. This has to do with you tapping in, being more connected, you trusted within yourself and the divine as well as your support team on just leading you and you going on the path that you're supposed to be going on because i feel like if you stay where you are it's gonna it's not gonna be good for your health it's not it's not i feel like as i said you know that it's time You know that it's time for you to do certain things. It's just you're waiting on the right time. But really, when will it ever be the right time? Some of y'all could be an empath. Or, oh shit, all of y'all watching this, you can be an empath. And that within itself has to do with the journey that you're supposed to be going on. With this um, change and transformation. Because you're in between of whether you should stay or whether you should go. Whether you should close out some things. Or whether you should go back to your old ways. I feel like. It's like. Like I said. Like you in and you out. It's like man. You want to go all in when it comes to this spiritual transformation. But when it comes to this spiritual transformation. What a lot of people don't talk about. Because what I've noticed is. A lot of people that experience a spiritual awakening and actually walk that path in that journey, experience loss, experience losses before they experience, before they experience the brighter side, they experience a lot of losses. And that comes with the journey because what it is, is it's stripping you of everything that is no longer of you 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 know like that job that uh that place you living in your friends hell your family and it may go even deeper for some people and you in between on whether should you stick to this side or should you go to the right so it's like because I feel like you feel like if you just go back to the old ways of how you used to do things and just end your spiritual journey being on this path, then that will eliminate all these, what you feel is setbacks and losses that you've been taking. 
But then it's another part of you that you you you're you're kind of wanting to see where this will take you, where this will go. It's like you're trying to control the narrative. You're being stubborn when it comes to this change. Because it feels like you are not in control and really you're not in control. It seemed like, as I said in the beginning of the reading, no matter how much in control you try to be of your situation, something else come in. Or another wrench get thrown into your situation. And it feels like it messes up your, your structure, your foundation that you have set for yourself and that you're trying to keep. And it's causing you to feel unmotivated because you're in between uh, just not giving a damn and just want to be like, man, fuck that to the hell with it. Because you don't know exactly what's next. What's next? What you're needing to do right now is really work on yourself. Like I said, I feel like some of y'all is in between choosing your old life and this new life that is waiting for you. Because addictions is out here like this. So you are someone that could have had some type of addiction. And the way that your life is going right now is causing you to feel like you should go back to your old ways. You should go back to the old ways of doing things because at least that worked. And you're not really using your intuition as much as how you used to. But it's like you know. Deep down, you know exactly what it is that you need to be doing. I feel like you just want to ignore it and act as if though you don't. But like I said, whatever this is that you're doing, if you do not change it up, and you continue on like this same same thing, different day. It's going to cost you help. It's going to cause you health problems. Because it's not good for your health. Some of y'all could be working at jobs or doing things. I really feel like this job, this is the job. Because the impatient and not doing things differently. I feel like this has to do with a job. And you could be working at a job where you work long hours, where you're putting in so much time. That's not good for you health-wise. <laughs> and you in between. Like I said, like right now, you just really are in between of, damn, should you continue on or should you just call it quits with your spiritual journey? Because this has to do with your spiritual journey, whoever I'm talking to. You don't even know how to take a break on yourself. You don't even know how to be okay with relaxing and giving yourself time. And that's why you need to work on yourself. Because you feel like you have to do so much, you have to go so hard to change your situation. But the way things is working right now for you, no matter how hard you go, shit feel like it is not changing. Okay? And if you continue to go harder and harder, it's not going to be good for you health-wise. And sometimes you can be hard on yourself and feel as if though if you don't go as hard, then you're being lazy and you're not giving it your all. You in between being unmotivated and going full throttle. Like I said, with 1010 sideways like this, this speaks of spiritual growth, love, and finances. And this is what is hurting you right now. Your finances could be hurting. You, you having to make a decision on whether you're going to step forward in this spiritual growth and go through this spiritual transformation because that's what you're on the verge of. And to start loving on yourself more. 
but you're indecisive. And the reason why you're indecisive is because you're not knowing if the outcome is going to be good if you do so or if it's going to be bad. And I feel like it's not necessarily bad. The outcome is going to be good either way. It's just certain things that are going to happen that you don't even want to experience. Now, this is a little side note for anyone out here dealing with someone else. You may feel like someone is dealing with someone else. In, that someone has someone on the side. This could be someone that you have a child or children with. And I feel like it's something that you may see on like a laptop or a phone or some type of technology device. And I feel like you're going to find something on there. It's something that you're going to see. And I feel, oh my goodness, because I feel like it's something that you're going to see, it's something that you're going to find on some type of uh, device. You already somewhat then had an a intuitive nudge of this person dealing with someone else on the side. But then you think to yourself like, nah, because you realize the type of person that you are and you, you are someone that thinks highly of yourself. So you second guess, you were second guessing. But then it's, it's put back into your head again of feeling like someone is dealing with someone else. And it's something that you're going to find on a device. And you're going to be stuck in between the whether you should stay or whether you should go. Whether you should complete this chapter in your life with this person. And for some of y'all, this has this is what that door opening and closing has to do with that I was talking about. And if you choose to close that door on this chapter in your life with this individual you're going to have new opportunities coming in for you. And you're going to be going through some type of change or transformation where you're going to be more focused on taking care of your baby with that take care of your baby coming out at the beginning of this reading. Because I feel like maybe you have been unmotivated to do so because of worrying about so much. Worrying about so much with this person that you're dealing with. Not knowing what decision would be the best decision for you. And you being impatient. And that impatience cause you not to really be as motivated as a parent to take care of your baby. And it's time for you to start taking care of yourself and have some self-love and start working on yourself. Whatever it is that you end up finding, you're going to feel like you're helpless in this situation if you feel like that, maybe it's because you are with someone that takes care of everything while, meanwhile, you don't have to do so much. But you're in between uh, feeling helpless and stuck and feeling like, yeah, it's time for me to go. It's someone that's going to be kind of, sort of, 
giving you some advice that you haven't even asked for. You're going to you're going to see that. And it's because the people that are around you are going to see that you don't have the same motivation that you used to have. That you're you're like hell, you're not as motivated. And you you're in a place you where you're stuck and you don't know when you feel like it's blockages that's happening in your life. And I feel like it's people. This don't even have to be people that's in your personal life. This can be like, because messages come in in all forms. I'm telling you. You can be out at the store and overhear somebody talking about some of the same shit you're going through. And that can be your, your advice. And I just got the chills. I feel like for the person that is staying with someone, the person that you are with, You're being impatient and you probably just, once you find out whatever it is that you find out in regards to this person dealing with someone else, you're going to be impatient and you're going to want to just leave. You're going, to in you're going to be in between, brother, damn, should I just leave and go? Because if you just leave and go, just know that you will find yourself staying from house to house. Then you're going to also be thinking about whether if you should just save up. And the sensible thing to do is for you to save up. Save up to a point to where you can be self-sufficient. When you do make that, that change. Because like I said, it's like. You're feeling in between. It's like you're doubting yourself. There's a part of you that you know how amazing you are. You know exactly what you can do. You know the spark that you can have in your own life. But you're doubting yourself. And you're thinking of about lack. You're thinking small-minded. And you just keep having a lot of indecision around so many things that are happening in your life. And this may not be a whole bunch of things. This may be one thing that you're dealing with, but it's wrapped around with a whole bunch of other shit wrapped up into it. And you need to make a decision. Because you're not making a decision when it comes to a lot of things. Like you could feel like, man, I need to protect my energy from certain individuals or from this person. Because it's the same thing, different day with this person or with these people. But you don't do it. That's going to mess with you health wise as well. Because you're going to be getting drained of your energy. And it's not that you're going to be lazy. It's just you're going to be drained from your energy to where you can have this motivation. If you're around people that are not for you, you're going to be drained of your energy. And I feel like it's something major that you're going to be quiet about. And I feel like this is in regards to you realizing that the person that you was with was not as, what is the word? Well, shit, was not as committal as you thought. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but yeah, that'll work. I feel like you will realize a lot of things and you will start to see things for what it truly is. And you will realize that you are dealing with someone that made you feel as if though 
Y'all was in a committed, exclusive, yeah, that's the word, exclusive relationship. But when you find the things that you find on this device, you're going to realize how this person was acting exclusive and committed with you. But on the flip end of it, moved and operated out of a, a place of just being free and open to do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Like I said, acted one way with you. And on the flip side, it was something completely different. But know that um, this spark that you're seeing, this is about your creativity. This is about your creativity. This is about you stepping into your creativity to change your life. And when I speak of creativity, I'm not talking about today i'm not talking about like the passion and the things that you like to do no i'm talking about you becoming in alignment how do you come become in alignment you become in alignment by first making the, the the decisions that needs to be made and being real with yourself that's the first start because you can do everything right but you will not be in ex Example, I'm going to use myself as, as an example. When I first started my spiritual journey, when I had my spiritual awakening, I still had people around me that was not supposed to be around me, but shit, I just love them so much. When I tell you shit just been happening back to back to back to back every time, my soul was not at peace. I wasn't happy. Yeah, I was able to pay my rent, my bills, and do all this other shit, but on a soul level, I was not okay. And then not only that, things just kept happening and happening. And it's because although I thought I was in alignment because I changed my life around, I really wasn't as much in alignment as I thought because I didn't do what I had to do when it came to cutting off access to me from people, places, and things that was no longer for me. So that's what I mean today when I say this spark. Because once you do that, then you will be in alignment with the divine guidance. That wealth that you think that you're delusional about, you ain't delusional. It's just you on the brink of it. And before you can get to it, it's things that you have to do. Because if you get it with the situation where, where you are at now, you may fumble it. Yeah, so that's the message for today. I close out this reading, giving thanks to the universe for guidance, protection, and assistance with this reading. And I will see y'all in the next one.